guys. Uh, this is my second take because so that shut off as I was filming. That's okay. <laughs> I got up and I was all over the place, so try again. Um, I got a new memory card for my camera. This is still my Nikon Cool Pix. Uh, not sure if I can get it to work. The camera I had, I returned that I got off Amazon. That I don't even know what brand it was. Um, I don't remember. It didn't work like I thought it would, but that's okay. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll go to my phone. We'll see. And this is November 4th. No, 3rd. November 3rd. It's Sunday night. Um, it's my birthday month. Um, so just welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're returning, hi. If you're new, hello. Come have fun. If you like it, great. If not, that's okay, too. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea. You can ask. Um, but I'm going to start with acquisitions. I was going to start with whips, but I think I'm going to start with yarn I got this in this last month. Because this is new, I got some in this last week, but some of it's been in the last month, and I forgot to show it on the last video. If you watched the last video, or if you saw that I put up a video and it didn't work, please let me know, because that means I'm doing something wrong. There should be... Altogether, I think I have four videos. One of my baptism, one of Night Ranger, one from my phone that I filmed, and then one from that other camera, and I don't know if it worked. It works on my phone sometimes. Not always, so it might not work. I don't know. That's where I showed a lot of crochet stuff, and if not, I'll show it all again, I'm sure, again. Um, acquisitions. We're going to start, do this real fast. I got this at Joanne Fabrics. Um, maybe August? It was when they started doing the sale. I don't know. The year end sale, whatever, for new colors. Um, this is a sweet roll. 245 yards, 5 ounces, 140 grams, a medium 4 weight. The colorway is Raspberry Swirl. Hopefully you can see that well. And that, I believe, I'll just be making a shawl. I could do a hat and mitt set, fingerless mitt set, I'm not sure. I think it'll be a shawl. I think that would look pretty. I think my friend... She loves pinks, and I think that would be good for her. Um, now, this was this last week. I went to Walmart and got Mandala, Mandala Sparkle. Um, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 328 yards, uh, light three weight, and the colorway Nova, the Sparkle. And I saw this. I was there with my dad at Walmart because I had to get some things, and he went in with me because I'm using a walker because of my issue with my legs and all that. And I saw this with him, and I said, well, I don't need it, so I just went on. And they had like two of them. I went back like a day or two later with my fiancé, and I said, I'm going to see if they have that yarn, and I didn't see it. Well, there was another setup at the end of the row by all the yarn, where there was the one mandala, and then there was another one down that I forgot about. And I said, well, maybe there's some more down that way. So we went, walked down, and this was behind and underneath, so somebody else must have really wanted it, too. I didn't leave it behind, so somebody else must have really thought that was pretty. So, and I think that'll be a shawl. Um, my fiancé was there with me when I got it, so he surprised me two nights ago. Um, he had to go to Walmart, and me being me, said, buy me a present, and he did. <laughs> he bought me a Mandala Sparkle. It's the same three weight, three and a half ounce on a gram. This color weight is Draco, and I'm actually working with it right now. And that was my phone, Dumbledore, asking Professor Snape after all this time, to which Snape replies, always. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Professor Snape fan. Alan Rickman, I love you. But he got it because I had gotten the one with pink, and he knew I liked the sparkle, so he got a sparkle. To which now I will go into 
one of my whips because I'm working with that. I am making holly from the proper pineapple. I am making her tutorial from YouTube. If I, I'll have to block it pretty good. It is the boomerang shawl. It's because it's going to curl up because of the increases and decreases. So I will have to block it. And you see I made a stitch marker. As you can see, the dog bone. I made that. I had to watch a video on how to make them, but I did. Um, the other acquisitions, this was about a month, month and a half ago. Um, there is a store in Norway. It's about an hour away. Maybe it'll give or take a little bit. Maybe about an hour, 15 minutes. Um, Rainbows and Alpacas. And it's rainbowsandalpacas.net if you want to go on there. Um, but they're in Norway, Michigan. Uh, Mike actually was with me and he picked this out for a shawl. Or not a shawl. Sorry. A scarf or a cowl to keep them warm this winter. And it's the Barocco, that's how I say it, it might be Barocco, Ultra Alpaca, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 50% uh, super fine alpaca, 50% Peruvian wool, and it's a medium four weight, which I never pay attention to the weights. I, I'm bad about that, but it's a, it's a dark gray. It might be showing up black because it looks actually really dark since it's dark out because time went, fell back last night. But That'll be for him, and it is really soft. If this was $13, um, if you can afford it, it is really soft. But you know, you got to be careful too. You could be allergic to alpaca or wool. But that'll be for him. I'll spoil him. This is outside of my comfort zone. This is pack of beds. Look at that neon. You know who I thought of with this was Ross from Smells Like Yarn with the neon yellows and the greens and the blues. Um, but it's the Alpaca Yarn Company Pack of Peds, hand dyed, fingering weight, 20% super fine alpaca, 65% super wash wool, 15% nylons, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. The colorway is Electric Sheep, and I believe it's just a fingering weight one. But yeah, I had to have it it's very outside my comfort zone. It will be socks. Bought it for socks. That's what will be made. That was, when we went there, they were just taking them out. They had just got a shipment of new yarns in. And I had to have it. This one, too, I had to have. It is a Christmas yarn. I picked that out. Last year I made myself Halloween socks. This year will be Christmas. Hopefully I get them done this year. It is Les Lane's Biscotti Yarn. Hopefully you can see that. And I believe the colorway is Aragon, which I would just say it's Merry Christmas because that's what it looks like. It's just a fingering weight, um, 100 gram ball, 85% merino, superwash merino, 15% nylon, and it says it's self-striping. Um, so that's my other acquisition. So, those are my fun funsies. Um, and then, I am working on the shawl, working on my second sock for my physical therapist. I'm not working on the Lions one right now. I want to finish the hockey one first. But this is just Cascade. I believe Heritage My Nail is Broke, so I'm snagging it all over the place. And you can tell I am. Great, great. But I cast on 72 stitches, so I'm 36 on each needle, knit four, purl two, all the way across, so for the stretch. I have one sock done, that's my second one. Um, working on that shawl, I'm going to show you a blanket. Um, this is one of Lisa Connolly's designs. Pull the yarn through because I don't want to using stitches because this is that interlocking fillet crochet mosaic crochet and this was her early American inspired yep 
I'm going to fold it in half because I don't want to lose stitches and the yarn is to the right of me and if I don't fold it, I will lose stitches. I, oh, snag it with my fingernail. I am up to where it will be eagles. And right in here is the eagle. Section 2 was, because she did a crochet along with this and I never finished it. That's the rivers, and then the bottom is the butterfly, and I absolutely adore this pattern. I love how this is crocheted with, you do one row black, and then you go back to the beginning and do the next color. It can be black or white, or any colors you want. Um, but her name is Lisa, with two S's, and Connolly, and you need to see her patterns. Oh my goodness, she has phenomenal patterns. I don't know, the brilliance to come up with that. I do not have that gift. Um, that is just phenomenal. I love that afghan. I love all the patterns. Um, she did a crochet along this year I didn't get to be a part of, but I will be purchasing the pattern. Um, I just want to work through a lot of what I have right now and the yarns I have right now. Um, to which, I have a question for my viewers. All four of you, five of you. I think I had five views on my first video, so thank you. Um, I did gain a couple subscribers, thank you. Um, I've put out three videos pertaining to yarn, fiber arts. The first one had a lot of knitting, not as much crochet. The second one was just crochet blankets I've been working on um, these past few years. And then th this will be my third one. Um, the second one, I don't know if it worked or not. I, I just don't know. I got it uploaded, and it said there were views, but then if I go to it on a different computer, like not my dad's, it says there are no views, and it might not have worked because it doesn't work in a lot of places. So hopefully this one will. But I have yarn from when I first started to crochet in 2003. That's when I learned to crochet. Um, I bought this Red Heart variegated in farmland. And you can tell it's an old yarn. I've had it for a long time. I have enough to make blanket. And I've looked on Ravelry at what people have used with it. I want some different ideas. Um, I usually, my go-to is the ripple. And I started a ripple with each one because I have some balled up in a bin. And I'm like, eh, that'll take too long. So I ripped them out. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Um, but what do you think? What kind of afghan pattern? Because I do know I want them to be blankets. This is such a beautiful fall color. I want it to be a blanket. The other color is gemstone. And this, again, was bought way back. I got my hair stuck to it. No, fuzzy. Um, way back when, when I first started to crochet. Look at the jewel tones. Just like royalty. I love this. Um, yeah, I would like to know what blanket pattern. What would you use? Because I just love these. And this is gemstone. Yeah. These colors are obviously not available anymore. And I've been hoarding them because I want to make afghans with them. And I could knit a, knit one, not just crochet. I could. Um, but I don't know. What do you think? Knit, crochet, any pattern, any ideas? Should I just go back to the ripple? Hmm. Corner to corner, maybe? Maybe mini corner to corner? Because um, I showed a black gray and white one for Mike. I want to make him an afghan with that, but he want, he's already claimed the uh, early American inspired afghan. He's already taken claim to that one, and that's fine. Uh, I can always make another one. My favorite colors are black and red, and that's what I was going to do, and he told me to do black and white based on this blanket that my brother got me a few years ago for Christmas, so we'll see. It won't be out with pooch there. Because he likes to be like a cat and make a bed. Um, and this Sharon back here, if you can see it on my door, I got a bunch of Bernat softy chunk, chunky yarn. And I plan on knitting an afghan with that. Um, but I got two brown, two green, five burgundy, four gray, and two orange. I'm missing a gray. No, three 
three gray. That's right. Because I had three gray and three burgundy from years ago. I bought and I was going to make hat and scarf sets and I never got around to it. And then I got them on sale for 99 cents each, so I just did three and three. Well, when I was up there last month for doctors, I bought the brown, the dark green, the burgundy, and the orange, two of each, to make a blanket, and they were on sale for 99 cents each. <laughs> so that'll be a knitted one because it's a thick, bulky yarn, so I want to uh, knit my first blanket with that because I've only really knitted socks. I've knitted some hats. But I want to knit some blankets. I like the look of knitted, too. Uh, but I don't discriminate. I love crochet, too. Love it all. Uh, I don't loom knit or finger knit because that's... I tried. I'm not very good at it. Um, I'm just not... Um, what else have I tried? There's something with yarn I thought I had tried. Maybe not. I don't know. I cross stitch, but again, not very good at it. Um, if I watch some tutorials in practice, I think I'd be good at it. But and I have some of those I want to eventually do. And but you know, right now I'm really right now I'm still on my sock kick, obviously. But I'm also wanting to finish that black and white afghan, and that's what I worked on today only. Um, that will be when I don't go to work for my mom when I don't go in and. She's been doing really good so far this month, um, the end of last month, the beginning of this month with the cooler weather. She's actually, for the first time, doing a little bit better. I am ecstatic. I got her to go out to the store last week. I took her to good, Goodwill. Um, the week before that, I got her to go to St. Vincent to Paul. We love thrifting, um, but she doesn't usually leave the house this time of year and She's already talking about maybe tomorrow going to Walmart. And obviously November, it's my birthday month, and she was like, well, maybe we'll go to Walmart and look around. Well, I know it's for me to pick out what I want for my birthday, and I already know what I want. I have a sewing machine that was gifted to me. It's in excellent condition. Um, I want to make project bags. I don't know how to sew. I attempted... I watched a video and thought, I can do this. Went to sew a zipper on fabric and got my finger cut and sewed my finger to the zipper and have not touched that thing since. It's been a year. Well, I've been watching No Catchy Name, Ella. She is awesome. She crochets and she makes project bags. I just ordered my first project bag from Ella. Um, it's a sparkly snowman one. I'll definitely show that when I get it. Um... She has very well inspired me to get back on the crochet kick and especially on the sewing to get back. She's been watching some of her first videos and she showed the tutorial she watched and I'm like, you know what, I think I can do that. And she said she did it without the interfacing, the lining first and a little bit easier and I'm like, you know what, the first ones aren't going to be pretty but they'll work for me so we're going to do that. And If I ever get where I'm good at it and I want to sell them, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I've never really thought. I've thought about selling stuff, but I like to give things away. I always gift things. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I said to Mike, I said, maybe next year I'll do a craft fair. Let's see what I can get done. Um, up here around Thanksgiving, they do a good craft fair for Christmas. The early Christmas one. So we'll see if I can get a lot of stuff done. It'll depend if my mom keeps doing good. And then I can, because I can bring stuff over while I'm there to, you know, while we're visiting, while I, she asked me to sit with her. Um, but, you know, right now I, I'm doing a lot. My brother took this week off of work, so I'll have a little bit of an easier week, but there's doctor's appointments every day this week. Oh, my goodness. Um, and a haircut appointment. We're going to chop it off. I'm donating my hair. Mike's going to donate his hair. He has some long hair, too. So we're going to donate our hair. Um, I thought shoulder length, maybe a little bit longer, but she, my beautician is my best friend, and I trust her with all my heart. She might want me to keep a little bit more length than I would, I, I'm planning, but I think I'm just preparing myself in case she cuts a lot off, you know. It's going to be a big change, but I'll get back to styling my hair instead of just lending it, doing nothing, you know, just hanging there. Uh, or wearing a ponytail. It's usually in a ponytail. I can show you. I just keep
keep it out of my face. <laughs> That's all I do. But anyway, I am Marlo, 1980. I didn't do that at the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm new at this. I'm new. I was actually going to vlog every day this month because it's my birthday month and I don't know how to edit. I can't do that. <laughs> uh, maybe for Christmas, maybe I'll do a vlogmas or something. I don't know. We'll see if I get better at this. Um, but I'm Marlo. Um, you can find me on YouTube and Instagram is Marlo1980. Ravelry, I am Netta2002. Um, I am going to do a video this week, probably on my phone, of just shoutouts. I might actually film that yet tonight. Just shoutouts of videos and talk about them, and I'm going to do that on my phone. So, will you guys have a wonderful night? If you have any ideas for these yarns, separate blankets, please let me know. Because I really, I could see cuddling up with these. This one especially in the fall. Now that it's fall, I wish it was done. I had something done. And this just is so pretty. This is so, I just love the rich colors of that. But I hope that everyone's having a good day, good week, good night. Hopefully this week brings you lots of blessings and joy. Love you all. Bye.